Hi, I'm Erica Olson with OnStrategy. Today's whiteboard video is on how to fix your OKR mess. We made this video because over the past six months, we've been hearing from our clients and on our social channels, people are loving the OKR process, but having a big mess when deploying it organization-wide. So this video is gonna walk you through how to fix it. So here are the, here's the problems that we're hearing. Number one is what you're getting back from your teams when you launch an OKR process is it's too tactical, too operational, too disconnected, and too unstructured. We would call this an OKR puddle. Tons of content, completely disconnected, no alignment, and a bunch of stuff that people said they wanna do, which is not helpful and really not the idea of an aligned organization, which really at the end of the day is what strategic planning is all about. So on the board is our strategic planning model, and I'm gonna use this model to unpack how to fix your OKR puddle. So here's how you address the issue of being disconnected, which is kind of the biggest deal. The whole point of OKRs is to empower teams and individuals to help drive organizational performance. But what's not happening is this layer right here is being skipped. So let's work it through for a second. So a great plan has a set of long-term, let's just say strategic goals, a handful of them, maybe less than six. You probably have those. And then you like sent out instructions for everybody to go create OKRs. What's missing is this layer, the company-wide OKRs or annual priorities and results that you wanna achieve. This is super important because you actually want the team and individual OKRs to be connected to these annual targets that you're trying to achieve. Certainly the bottom-up OKR setting is awesome. We just want them to be connected to something you want to get done this year. And we want the this year thing connected to where you're going over the long term, specifically where you want to go big picture. Okay, so that's how you fix your disconnected problem. Tactical and operational, here's how you fix that. So you have a SWOT over here probably. And in that SWOT, there's a lot of ideas about the right things to go do, weaknesses to fix, opportunities to tackle, threats to mitigate, strengths to strengthen. That information is the raw material to help build out the right OKRs. A thing that you might consider doing is unpacking it a bit further and doing one SWOT for each strategic goal or like a themed SWOT, if you will. What that does for you is it gives this group of people some raw material to pull from about where they should be thinking about focusing and things they might want to go do to help achieve the company-wide goals and, and, and advancing the, the bigger picture. So that's how you address these two things. And then unstructure is pretty straightforward. So really, really clear instructions on what makes a good objective and a good key result. We have guides on that. Go check it out, worksheets all over the web, being really consistent about what you wanna see. And here's an extra credit tip. One thing that's really confusing a lot of organizations is too many layers. So you might consider just creating company-wide annual objectives and key results, targets you wanna achieve, and having teams establish key results they're going to achieve and individuals set key results they're going to achieve that align to the company-wide O's. That gives you overall and shared O's and group KRs, which is a lot easier and a lot simpler. So with that, please do fix your OKR mess. It's an awesome tool. Get it connected, get it consistent, get it strategic. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to our channel. Happy strategizing.